tonight. Sporty Spice Mel C joins us live at the desk. This is The Project. And Melanie Chisholm, a.k.a. Sporty Spice, a.k.a. Mel C, joins us live in the studio. You're watching The Project. And we have a good chat with the Spice Mel not in trouble with the other networks. You're watching The Project. Take a deep breath. I know, I'm so excited. Pro, si <laughs> pro silence, pro please. We're about to welcome a Spice Girl. Metaphorically speaking, until June 1996, the world was as exciting as this. And then this was released. Almost overnight, the world went Spice Girl mad, causing hysteria not seen since the Beatles, the five girls, Scary, Ginger, Baby, Posh and Sporty, became instant celebrities. Disbanding in 2000, the girls all went on to successful endeavours, but have always stayed close, as was seen at last year's Olympic closing ceremony. Which brings us to Sporty Spice, Mel C. Enjoying a huge solo career that has seen her sell over 12 million albums, Melanie is bringing her critically acclaimed portrayal of Mary Magdalene to town in the arena spectacular of Jesus Christ Superstar. Please welcome Mel C. They love you. Thank you. It's, uh, it's wonderful to have you on the project. Let's talk about the show, Jesus Christ Superstar, you're playing Mary Magdalene. Rave reviews for this performance. Yeah. But this character is 2,000 years old. How did you research that? Clips on YouTube, that sort of thing? Yeah. Well, you know, everything's on YouTube now, yeah, so it right. makes life easy. Yeah. It's, it's grainy, the 2,000 year old stuff. <laughs> now, a lot of people have found Jesus in their life, and you found yours in a talent quest, which I think is wonderful. <laughs> Tell us about how you found him. Well, it was a show a little bit like an idol or an X Factor and they auditioned boys all over the country, all over the UK and got it down to the final ten. There were thousands in the beginning and yeah, there's Ben, there's my Jesus, there's me, I'm a little boogie. <laughs> and, um, yeah, oh, it's wonderful because Ben really stood out. He really stood out for me from the beginning so I'm so pleased the British public chose him. And uh, not just the British public love him, Bono loves him as well, doesn't he? Because he Bono went to one of your shows. Does. He did. We had Bono in the Edge and Kylie all came to the same yeah. show in London, came backstage afterwards and yeah, and Bono talks about Ben in interviews and it's a bromance. Yeah, well, very <laughs> nice indeed. Yeah. Now, speaking of bromances, our very own Tim Minchin is on the yeah, show yes. and we hear he is doing very, very well as Judas. He is incredible. Just picked up an award in London, Best right. Supporting Actor in a yeah. Musical. Yeah, so yeah, there he is. He's incredible and he spits in my face every <laughs> night. <laughs> Sometimes it even goes in my mouth. Oh. Yeah, you guys have totally kissed. <laughs> now, let's talk about the Spice Girls, because you guys are like the soundtrack to my late teens. I just loved you guys. I mean, I don't even know what question to ask you other than to show you that I just... <laughs> <laughs> craziest time. Do you look back at that and think all the things you guys got up to and go, oh my gosh? Oh my goodness. If you knew everything we, we got, got plenty of time. <laughs> <laughs> One day maybe we'll be able to this tell all. This, this is a safe house of yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Just no. us in this room, right? Yeah. yeah. But it was incredible. It was insane. It was brilliant. It was everything and sometimes it feels like it never happened and then other times it feels like it was yesterday. How did you guys manage to keep yourself so grounded? You know, once it sort of calmed down a bit, yeah. keep so grounded. You, you continued on as great friends and, yeah. and, and still keep in touch now. You know, it, it was hard, kind of the, the transition from our biggest time to kind of integrating back into society and normality, you know, it was really tough. But our families were always close and we're still close as friends and our families still hang out together. So I think having them close really helped. It was good because you're also, I was just going to say, you're so, you were so different as yeah. well, which, you know, for girls growing up, we, we all wanted to be one of you, you know, we all yeah. related yeah. to... Um, and I for was guys never... growing up, we all wanted to date one of you. <laughs> yeah. so, so. <laughs> 
But you were um, so different and you seemed that you were all so different but yet you played that part together. Yeah, and I think it's been really good for our friendship as well because there's no competition. You know, we all want different things out of life so that helps us mm. not being competitive. Oh, come on, there was competition, let's be honest. <laughs> there's, there's, been. there's been competition at times in our lives but now, yeah. we, you know, we really respect each other. We're all mums and, you know, we're grown-ups. The thing about it, the, the, the Spice Girls that I find amazing is, I mean, think about it, you, you're a girl group of a particular era and it's really easy when you're in that genre to end up becoming the butt of lots of jokes, but the Spice Girls haven't. They've kind of remained loved. Why is that? What's this? You know, I think we have had our fair share of, you know, being teased. And it's really nice. I think especially with the Olympics last year, there's just been a bit of a renaissance, really, and, and people look back quite fondly. And I think it was a really good time as well. It was before all the financial problems in the world. And, you know, the 90s, it was a really positive time, especially mm. in the UK. I thought you meant the Olympics. The Olympics were a terrible time. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible time for they us here in Australia. pretty good for us, yeah. Sorry, they were great. Were you, did you do, you performed at the Olympics and then did you say to each other after, we really need to keep doing this. This is fun. You know, we do we do talk about that and we would like to do something at some point. We haven't got any plans, but our big plan, if we did, yes. would be Australia. Oh, really? We never got here. <laughs> in Melbourne, you're going to need extra security to keep carrying people <laughs> off of the stage. I'll be like that girl in that first clip where I'm like laughing and crying and laughing. <laughs> and crying. No, isn't this possible? I mean, the other Mel is here. Yeah. Victoria Beckham almost came here. Yeah. I mean, if you squint, there's already a Spice Girls reunion. <laughs> no, it's not far off. I could mean, you, we, could you, you could do be baby. I'm, I'd be ha I'm there. Whatever you yeah. need. I'm there. You've but just could made you, her laugh. <laughs> could you do it if... Uh, you wouldn't do it unless every single one of you did it, would you? That would be the dream, you right. know, if all five of us could do it. But, it, you know, it's really hard to get all our schedules coordinated and, you know, everyone's doing so well in what they do. Victoria, the fashion, you know, Melanie does so much TV now. Emma's a breakfast DJ on radio. So, you know, if it's going to happen, it's, you know, it's, no, it's tricky. Do you know what I just heard there? You didn't say, no, if we weren't all together, we wouldn't do it, which means there could be an opening, Carrie. <laughs> Just I cannot stop sing, teasing so. Carrie, okay? <laughs> stop teasing Carrie. Now, one of the other things we love about you is that you've uh, lived up to your name as Sporty Spice because you now do triathlons, yeah? I've done one. Well, that's good enough. Hey, yeah. One is a great <laughs> achievement. Yeah. But I've, I've just entered for my second and, right. um, yeah, and I loved it. I fell in love with it when I did it. But it's finding the time to train as well as compete. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm truly sporty. So were, you, were you sporty before you became Sporty Spice or did they give you the name and you went, oh, crap, I'm going to... Did you see her abs? <laughs> The ads of steel. I'm not doubting the ads. <laughs> well, you know, the funny thing is, we were given our nicknames on the way we behaved or the way we dressed, and I used to wear, like, truck pants and trainers and stuff. And I've always been quite athletic. I, I used to do gymnastics at school. But, um, yeah, I, I quite like sporty. I, w I was comfortable. Which mm. is important. You even wore tracksuit pants in a film clip. That is, <laughs> that is the most comfortable <laughs> approach I've ever seen. That's terribly comfortable. Well, we look forward to you touring when that happens, and it will happen. But tickets are also available for the Arena Spectacular Jesus Christ Superstar. Go check it out. Head to our website. All the details are there. Would you please thank Mel C?